Hey, it's Zell. Today we're gonna talk about linters. Hey, it's Zell. Today we're gonna talk about linters. When you use a linter, you're gonna see red squiggly lines all over your code. If you're not used to using a linter yet, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed and not feel like you have done something wrong when you're coding and you kind of want to fix all the errors before you continue coding. But you don't have to feel that way. A linter is there to help you write better code. There are reasons for each of these red squiggly lines that you see. The moment you understand what creates a line and what makes it go away, you can figure out what lines to ignore and what lines to take note of. To make things simple, there are three kinds of error messages from linters that you will encounter. Unused variables, parsing errors, and formatting errors. If you use Visual Studio Code, you can mouse over an error and see what it is about. In this case, it says, form is assigned a value but never used. No unused false, and that classifies as the first kind of error. This type of error is here to let you know that you have created a variable, but you have not used it anywhere else in your code. When you're coding, you can ignore this message most, most of the time because you will create variables but not use them at some point or another. What's most important for this type of errors is when you're done with coding, you want to make sure that none of these unused variables remain in your code so they don't take up extra memory when you put it up for production. So pay attention to unused variables when you're at the end stage of your coding project. But when you are still coding and still figuring things out, forget about it. Let the underline be there. With that, let's move on to the second type of errors, passing errors. These errors usually say passing error, unexpected token, something. In this case, E is an unexpected token. When you see passing errors, you want to fix them immediately because they mean that something is wrong with your code and JavaScript cannot be executed. If you don't fix them, you'll see the error in the console anyway, and you have to fix them before continuing. Uh, the other type of errors you'll see is called formatting errors. This type of error focuses on things like spaces, empty lines, like these, and indentation. They can be corrected automatically if you have a formatter set up with your linter. In my case, I use standard as my linter, and I set up standard formatter to format my code. So when I save, the errors go away automatically. If you want to find out how I set up my linter and how I set up the formatter, check out part two of the Visual Studio Setup series. That's it. Linters aren't scary when you get used to them and when you figure out what kind of error messages they produce. I hope you have learned something useful from this video. If you did, I hope you hit the subscribe button below so I can send you one video like this every Friday. Or better yet, head over to my blog at zeldwk.com, subscribe over there, and I'll be able to send you one video and one article every week to help you become a better front-end developer. Thanks for watching, have a good Friday, and I'll see you next week.